Right, like always, I like to start with the heart of this bike, and that is the frame. It's a beautiful color. I love the lines as well. It's a DW link on the rear for the suspension to work out. Talk about suspension in the middle here, you've got a Fox shock. It's 135 mil of travel. And on the front, he's running 150 mil travel Fox shock. It's a 36 and it's that cool orange color. Big deal. All right, moving on to where it's always greasy, oily and dirty. It's the drive chain of this bike. This one's very special. He's running Shimano Di2, so that means it's electric. This little wire here, there's no cables involved. It sends a little electric current to this thing and it changes the gears. And super technical, super. So it's a one by 11. On the back here, he's gone up to a 46. Big dinner plate for those huge climbs. On the front, it's a small chain ring. It's a 30. Okay, so up the front, to keep the chain on, it's an MRP. Even though it's a wide, narrow setup, still a little bit safe. You wanna keep that chain on there tight. It's got cranks, it's DO, XT. And on the end, to keep his feet intact and on the pedals, he's running the Crank Brothers Mallet in red. Right, moving on to the wheel build of this bike. It's a full carbon setup on the rear. It's a Reynolds black label, so that is full carbon. Built on a Reynolds hub. And the rubber on this that surrounds that is a Maxxis Minion DHF with a 3C. So 3C means three compounds of rubber that make this tire. Right up the front here, much like the same as the rear, it's a Reynolds black label rim, built on a Reynolds hub. Forgot to mention as well, that is a big wheel. It's a 29er, so it's a huge rig. Right when it comes down to the braking power, the skidding, it's these guys right here. It's a 180 mil rotor, front and rear, and it's Shimano Dior XTs. Right, the business end, the cockpit. This is where everything gets down. It's really aggressive. It's a short stem here. It's a 35 mil. It's Renthal's stem. And he's got carbon bars with a high rise, higher than normal than other people would do. It's a fat bar. Quite wide bars, and then he got rental grips where his hands go, keep it comfy, keep it in control. The brakes front and rear, and you got the uh, Shimano XT, the electric stuff, all that goodness. Sounds amazing when you change it. You've got a little dial here to say what gear you're in, what mode you're in. Then you've got your dropper post here. It's the Fox transfer right to that thing. Okay, moving on to the saddle here. It's special. It's got carbon rails, so it gives that stiffness to the saddle, and it's called the Hightail. Little clue, it's got no tail, so it sweeps in here. It looks like a spaceship with its wings. All right, there's enough of me rambling on about Bernard's bike. Let's get the man himself, the pilot of this thing, and he can talk us through it. All right, enough of me talking about your bike. I've got a few questions about this. Switch blade, what's that? Is that in the, can you switch out something? Yeah, the wheels. So right now it's a 29er, that's how yeah. I normally run it. Okay. But you can put 27.5 plus wheels on there. What? So it's plus size, like boost? Yeah, so it boosts at the front and super boost at the rear, which is 157. Super boost? Yeah, man, it's huge. What? Super stiff. Okay. Have you ever done that? Have you done like... No, nah, this week for slalom, I'm putting normal 27 and a half inch okay. wheels on it. So this is your Should slalom rig and downhill slalom rig Slalom and downhill rig for the other. And 29 and downhill? 29 downhill, 27.5 for slalom. Right, another question. Are you going to be riding 29 on a downhill bike? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> it's going to come now, I reckon. I don't know, hopefully yeah. not. Right, do these glow in the dark? No, they don't glow in the dark. Damn it! They might. I don't know, I've never tried it. I see you've gone super tech. You've got like DI2 here. Man, i got electric stuff on my bike. It's like <laughs> almost an e-bike, but not, you still got a pedal. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, all right, next question. Everyone wants to know about pressure and suspension. The suspension setup, is that thing rock solid? Yeah, we got three, a lot of 350 PSI in there <laughs> and uh, 15 air volume reducers. <laughs> okay. So, oh, right, okay, in the front? <laughs> I, got two, I got 220 in the rear and I think there's 95 in the front. 95, and that thing's got bunged out and stuff? I've only got one extra yeah. from stock in the front. I think there's two extra from stock in the rear. Okay. And I see you're a special dude and you've got special colored forks. <laughs> got orange forks. Look at that. Made it this year. Nice, nice. All right, bar width? Uh, 768. Oh, very precise, okay. Yeah. Same 768. with my downhill bike. 770 was too big, Yeah. 750 was too small, okay. and like settled there. All right, going from 768, so what is, I'm talking about pickiness, because that is quite. That's quite picky. So what, anything else on your bike that's picky? No, like obviously you want the levers the same height. I yeah. like the levers to come in pretty far. Okay, so quite a small reach on the lever. Yeah, real small reach on the lever. I normally let my seat quite far forward, this one. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, looks aerodynamic. Yeah. Pretty aero. The high trail. Nice. High tail, okay. high tail. Oh, sorry. 
so the tyre doesn't hit at the back, you see? Oh, yeah, Hotel. okay. Sorry. Um, not that picky otherwise, really. Right. Pressure and tyres. Ooh, for here. Because that's quite... That's a good one here, probably like 32 in the rear. Because it's quite hard, up front. Yeah, isn't it? It's pretty hard, real straight, yeah. not many turns, yeah. so... And yeah. higher for slalom. Slalom will be like 35, 38 in the rear and okay. like 30 up front or something. Length of crank. 175, train to power down. That's a big one. Yeah, it's nice. a big sucker. No. Okay, so you're a, you're a downhill expert, right? Try which, to be. Which, which bike do you ride the most? Man, I ride this thing, well now it's new to me, but yeah. a lot more than my downhill bike. Yeah. Like I ride that quite a bit in New Zealand and in the summer in France and obviously at races, but otherwise I'd probably ride this like 10 times more than my downhill bike. So this is the go-to bike go in Go-to bike, man, does everything. Honestly, it slays down the hill so good. Yeah. Modern trail bikes, this thing pedals up pedal like up no other. As well. yeah, so yeah. yeah, I would ride this thing a lot more than my downhill yeah. bike. But you love your downhill bike then? Man, love my downhill bike, do anything on that thing. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Bernard, thank you so much for showing us no your worries, pivot man. switch blade. It's insane, I like it. Sick. The colour's good. Amazing, yeah. best colour out there. Oh, mate. And if you want to know what Red Bull Hardline is all about, where this dude took the win last year, click just down here. And if you want to check out more pro bikes that aren't as good as mine, click right here. <laughs> oh, click this little globe here and you won't miss another video and you will subscribe. And if you like this bike, because obviously you do, give it a thumbs up.